Hello. Happy Monday. I hope everybody is doing well. Probably gonna have a shorter stream today. I've been feeling a little under the weather the last couple of days. So we're gonna play. We'll see how long I can hack it until I just wanna veg out a little bit. But I was just, I really just wanted to play this game. Um, I'll load it up while we're chatting. But off stream, I've been playing Slime Rancher and I just finished that last night. So I've been like, now what? Guess, guess we're gonna have to do a stream. I, I cause I want to play Spirit Fair. Get back into that. So that's where we're at today. Too dark to navigate. How could I leave my leave my uh, game in this state? Have to. I don't always have to remind myself a little bit of what we were doing right at the end of the last stream. We did a lot last stream, actually. All right. Um, I mean, I guess we should go to this new island. I still don't really know what these do, but I'm sure we'll learn at some point. We're gonna go through one. We'll see if maybe it gets some kind of prompt. Wake up! Everybody, wake up! Ah, yes, I remember we explored that island with the sheep. It's coming back to me. Good morning, honeybee. That's cute. Ah, uh, yes, this is like the solar eclipse. Right, we've got our our salesman here. Did we figure out any? No, we don't have the iron ingots yet. We don't have turnips. We still don't have that salmon. Nebula fabric. Oh, we do have, we do have this. Oh, is this just ongoing? Maybe? Uncertain. Uncertain. Alright. And off we go. Gotta water everything. Let me tell you, I have like a bunch of plants. More than the average person's number of plants. Not like a lot for a plant enthusiast or anything. But I've got some plants, and I used to have, like, an app on my phone that would have an alert go off every couple of days or for when I needed to water each individual plant. So I'd have, they'd each have their own schedules and their own calendar, and, uh, it worked very well until I got lazy about it, and now I just water them whenever I think they need water. It's it's been okay. You hungry? I still don't have your pork chops. Please don't remind me. Okay, good. Oof. We okay, we got a hugger cat. Yeah. Oh my god, yesterday? Um last night after the stream, I went to pet Harvey and he was like curled up in his little cat tower. And, like, when I went to scratch him, he, like, fully rolled onto his back, you know how they do? And he usually never does that for me. Like, he'll roll around and, like, let me scratch him and stuff, but he doesn't roll onto his back for me to, like, pet his tummy. He hates having his tummy touched. But he was, like, really into it that night. I was, it was, like, the best day ever. I was like, oh my god! Me and this cat, we have reached a, a new level of friendship. I hope he shows up today. I've got my door closed, so it's not likely unless I get up, but we'll see. All right, where are we? What are we doing here? Oh, well, we can't go that way. I have to remember to check for invisible walls. That still, like, shook me to my core when we found that. Oh. No, thank you. I don't want to buy your magazine subscription or whatever you're selling. 
Hmm. The word moist should be outlawed. Hi there. Hello to you too. A rice patch needs constant nurturing. It's a full-time job. I'd rather eat mangoes and watch the sunset. All right. I like when they get bothered when they're like, "Please leave me alone." Just, just could you stop? We can go in this one. Is there anything in here? Not that I'm aware of. What's up? Hmm. Where's my brother? He should be here. Hi there. Should get back to it. Alright. Hmm. Live a simple life. Oh, shit. Is this an another... This one's a bird, you guys. This one's a bird. Sound the alarm. This is not a drill. We have a bird person. A village. I want to call them a villager, but this is an animal crossing. They're coming to our boat, though. They're going to move to our island. We're going to get them the best house that we can build. What impeccable timing. I'm in dire need of assistance. What's it? What is it? Is it going to be an owl? I think it's going to be some sort of like hawk is what it looks like. Some sort of bird of prey. I'm in dire need of assistance. I can tell from your friendly and familiar face that you are undoubtedly the helpful type. Listen, I'm looking to complete this set of five traditional wood prints. They date from Ushiro period and as such are invaluable. I have found four of them, but alas, the last one eludes me. I am certain uh, it is in this very village. Furthermore, I am absolutely positive that it was recently in possession of the local shopkeeper, Theodore. Hold on, I've got an itch. Oh my gosh. Oh, killing me. Alright, alright. But he refuses to even acknowledge its existence. What an irksome little man. Raccoon. Tanuki. Wherever he is. Uh, but with your help, yes, with that sweet little smile of yours and generally non-threatening attitude, well, I'm sure you can schmooze your way into acquiring the last precious piece. That would be the last missing piece of this slippery puzzle. Well, go ahead, Skipper. I can't wait. See this one I can't get into. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna go we're gonna get everything. We're gonna find the brother. Tour will commence soon, I'll be calling out when I'm ready. Alright. This isn't the same place though, right? Where is that child? Garris Valdi, thank you so much for the lurk. I appreciate it. Also, I know that's not the way to pronounce your name. And I'm trying to remember how the correct way to pronounce it was. And I don't think Allie is here to very gently remind me how to pronounce it. So I apologize. Because I, I'm bad, I'm bad at remembering names and pronunciations like that. But I appreciate your lurk very much. Seamus, hello! Welcome in. I've been looking for him all over. He's been acting all sorts of strange. I think he must have eaten a bad fruit or something. If you see him, tell him his mother is looking for him. Don't mention that I'm extremely mad. <laughs> Seamus, how are you doing today? Uh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yes, yes. Garas. Yes, yes. Garas Baldi. Garas Baldi, yeah. I think I said it alright then. Didn't mess it up too horribly. Alright, alright, cool. Alright, good, I'm glad. <laughs> I just, sometimes I'll remember if something has, like, a funny, funny difference to it, but I won't remember what that is, and then I'm just like, oh no, oh, oh jeez, but I, I think I'm, I'm, I'm slowly getting better at the Twitch stuff, you know. Shame it's not bad waiting for either the wife and the kids to get home, or for a stream I'm on to get on. Uh, how am I? I'm doing okay. I'm feeling, I've been feeling a little under the weather this week, to be honest, but, um, not in any way that, like, impedes me from streaming, so 
I um Oh, we found the raccoon. <laughs> Try a Russian accent with it. It will literally say itself. Fair enough, fair enough. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate that, Seamus. Uh, are we gonna sell anything? I don't think so. Bye. Oh, pork chops! Five? It's probably plenty. Leek seed, rice seed. I feel like I should just... This is the first time we've seen meat as an option. I'm just gonna buy a bunch. Let's do it. Sure you're happy. Well, hello there, customer. Is it our catalog? Uh, is our catalog not to your satisfaction? Are you interested in some specialized items? Oh, a wood print, you say? Yes, yes, I know it. Uh, it sat in my special stock for an eternity, and then suddenly everyone was looking for it. At first, it was this very uh, pedantic person, very rude. At worse, and worse, they were haggling on everything. I didn't even tell them of the print, just gave them some junk instead. And then later, this giant walrus lady came in and demanded that I sell it to her. The thought crossed my mind to start a bidding war, but she offered some serious coin for it. That lady, let me tell you, uh, she was a loaded. Anyways, uh, that's all I know about it. I can't help you with the print, but feel free to browse my wares. Alright. I'm excited we got some new food. Glide! We got a new... We got a new thing. Gotta go. Leaving a tab open. Have fun. Thank you. Yeah, take it easy. Have a good one. I appreciate the lurk. And, uh, and have a, have a good dinner with the, with the wife and kids or the streamy mod, whatever you're, whatever you're doing. I went shopping today just to, like, oh, hold B to glide. Yay! Oh my god, this is so nice. What happens if I go all the way to the right? Uh, of course there's something up here. Heck yeah, we can sit. Very nice. I had an early dinner tonight. Um, because I went shopping this afternoon. And just like because I haven't been feeling well, I haven't like been prioritizing my meals all that much. And so, like, I went to the store and I'm like, I'm just gonna get whatever looks good. And I'm, like, me eating, like, a full meal is gonna be, gonna be the best option for me. Uh, instead of, like, prioritizing, like, eating healthy or whatever. So I got, like, a piece of salmon with macaroni salad. Like, the kind with, like, mayonnaise in it, you know? Which I adore. It is so good. But I had no idea how terrible it was for me until I like read the package and it's like, oh, this is this is a one one time only kind of meal. <laughs> My neighbors are firing up the leaf blower. I uh I hope that you guys can't hear it. I never want to go back home. Being here is sublime. If you want to stay at my place, you're well more than welcome. Here's my key. If the door is jammed, you just have to give it a good tug. It always gets stuck. I want to enjoy this view forever. Can't hear it? Perfect. I've got the filters set up on stream to, like, uh, only pick up my voice and stuff, but you never know. Oh, heck yeah. I guess it's gonna be an owl, right? Because there's that little owl symbol that's probably the critter we're gonna get. Uh, this is not the secret house. I don't think it's this one either. Hello to you, too. Hey, got it open. Heck yeah. Oh, I just realized I got you two mixed up. I was I was remembering I was remembering that one of you said you were leaving early. Mm. 
But Garrus, I, I hope you have a good day regardless of if you have kids or not. <laughs> uh -huh. You guys, you can tell I'm a little off today. Like, the, the gears are slowly turning. Ah, you're back. Did you manage to get the missing print? No, it was already sold, but how? Wait, is there a competing art collector roaming about? A walrus lady, you say? Of course. Of course it was her. Oh, that horrid woman. That dim-witted, egotistic, patronizing... Uh, Carleton. She calls herself the collector. Can you believe it? She doesn't even collect anything. Oh, I'm sure she bought the print only to spite me. I should have never told her about my collection. That ugly ass sack face. <laughs> what an insult. Well, I'm not the one to wave away competition. The ugly witch is in hiding. In hiding from you. I don't I don't specifically know why, but news of a new spirit pair made her skitter away like a puny cockroach. How fitting. Yes, yes, you're the spirit fairy. Tell me something I don't know. She should have known better than to tell me the location of her hideout, though. She's hiding at these coordinates. Uh -huh. Pay her a visit, would you? When you see her, show her this figurine. She'll know. Believe me, she'll know. Uh -huh. This? Oh, don't worry. It's just some junk Theodore gave me. Can I sell the junk to him? Because that would be... That would be pretty funny. Uh, I guess not. Unfortunately. That would be really funny, though. I kind of want to go back to some of those other islands that we were at. Oh, that's so nice. Ah, uh, so happy. Getting new movement upgrades always feels so good. It, like, doesn't matter what the game is. Also, it's definitely gonna be an owl. Back we go. We're going back. Got a letter. Dear value customer, we are always we are running a special promotion and closed as a new type of building. All part of our Funtacular series and air draft device. We hope uh, you enjoy your time soaring through the air. Cool. A very quaint figurine. What was that? A diorama. Huh. Well, we might as well get this boat moving. Alright, we'll sleep first and then we'll set where we're going. a new type of fish. Does the turtle always... It always comes to the same location. I don't know how I feel about that. We can't go up here. I guess because we're so close, let's go check out whatever this fish is and we'll kind of work our way around back to the turtle. 
And let's make those pork chops. There we go. Just pork. Perfect. Easy. Make a bunch, have them on hand. What do we got in our weird crops? Cool, okay. Uh, leeks? We haven't made any leeks yet. Oh, well, that one's gonna be lettuce. This one will, will also be lettuce. Tell you about myself. Been in Knob's chat before? Yeah, I lurk in there a lot. Uh, especially when I'm working. Um, Knob streams at, like, the perfect time. Uh, I work from home primarily. Um, I do various art, um, dance, and, and I've been getting into fitness a little bit. I just started learning how to rock climb, which I'm excited about. Um... I, I like to do a lot of different things, and that's kind of what got me into streaming. So I've always I've always loved video games, and I've always, especially indie games, um, have always really appealed to me. But um, I, I like to change up my hobbies pretty frequently, just to kind of keep things new and fresh. I, I tend to shift my interests a lot. Um, also, yeah, yeah, I, everything that I do, I do because it's something I think that I would enjoy. I don't ever do anything because I think that, like, it would be maybe beneficial later. It's, it's hard for, it's hard for me to learn a new skill if I don't see immediate value in it. Um, where's this new, uh, air draft? We need some nebula fabric. Okay, we still don't know what that is. The windmill would be cool, too. I don't really know what it does. Oak plank. Let's make some oak planks. Um, trying to think of, like, what else I've had going on. COVID kind of, like, you know, threw everything for a, for a loop, you know? I wasn't able to work out. Or, or dance at all because all the classes were canceled and so just being home all the time that's that was why I started streaming also like my my partner streams and a lot of my friends group streams um, I won't say which studio I work at but I work at a gaming studio so a lot of my co-workers also stream Trying to think of other kind of fun, fun facts about me. Um, when I was, I used to, so in terms of art, so I went to college for art. Um, and I uh, used to, out of college, I ran a small business selling like kind of cosplay accessories and stuffed animals. I would do like custom made things. Um, And I did that for about five years full time, and then it 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 ruined the the joy of the hobby for me. I kind of like I I did it too much, especially doing projects that didn't interest me. They were things I was hired to do, so I was like, I just got super bored with it. Um, it got tedious. Oh wow, it's still going. It's gonna take a while. What type of dancer am I an instructor? Definitely not an instructor. I'm not very good. Um, I've done uh, a few different styles. I've done some like modern and hip hop, just like a couple of classes here or there. Primarily I do pole fitness. Um, thank you, Munchkin. Uh, which is something I'm like really passionate about. I, I love pole fitness and I really like strongly recommend that to anyone who has even like the slightest interest in it. it it's just, it's really fun. It's the only thing that's ever gotten me to like work out. Um, mm -hmm. 
Oh, Munchkin, I can't wait for my cabin to be ready. It's going to be so pretty. Don't get me wrong, the guest house is really cozy. It's just a bit small and busy and smelly. Some of us could use a bath, I think. But I'm not judging. All right, we'll get we'll get to your get there. I'm thinking Ooh. pork chops. <laughs> yeah, we know they're 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 coming. They're coming. But yeah, I always kind of hesitate to talk about pole fitness and pole dance because it's somewhat controversial. Did we arrive where I wanted to go? Oh, maybe I have to fish here. That would make sense. Not be able to do that? I don't know. If you have an interest in it, you can always try it. A lot of guys would probably take it the wrong way, too. Depends what... Depends what you mean. Um, like, in terms of, like, gender. Uh, at least at studios that I go to, that we have people of all genders that attend. Um, oh, we're getting, like, new music. What? This is... What? What is this? What is this fishing? It's like fancy fishing. Um... But there's, there's a lot of different styles of pole fitness that I think a lot of people don't realize. So there's like, uh, the pole like dance, like classic stripper style, really grindy dance. But there's also uh, a newer fitness side of it where it's all, how am I supposed to do this? It's all about strength training and posing and it's very artistic. Um, there, there are people that dance in a much more contemporary type of way, um, where it's more like a modern type of dance, but with moves, uh, but there's a lot of range to it. Um, the, the only bad thing I can say about it is that it can be intimidating for beginners, and the stigma is real. Um, how am I supposed to do this? I'm gonna focus for a second. How do I get this stupid fish? I'm trying like a different kind of like. Huh. How do I, maybe I need an upgraded fishing rod for this. I feel like that might be the case. Yeah, I, I think I think I need an upgraded fishing rod. Um But yeah, if for, for pole fitness, I will say that hands down it is the most rewarding fitness activity I've ever done. Um, I get like, I how do I put this? I, um I'm pretty sure we have a bunch of quartz. Oh! Let's, let's go back here because now we have this new glide ability. We can get to new parts of that island. Hell yeah. Let's do it. Um, Figured that, but didn't know for sure. Yeah. It's a rel- I mean, it's a relatively new sport. And I, I do call it a sport. Um, just a lot of people equate it to sex work. Um, but it's- that is its origin. Its origin and- and that should be respected is, um, in a, like, in, in a strip club setting. Um, but that's not everything about it anymore.
pork chops. I got pork chops at the store today. Uh, what was I saying? Right. I've always struggled to be someone who is very active and leads an active lifestyle. That's never come easy to me. Um, so... Let's try pork chops and mushrooms. Um, I, I've done Ring Fit a little bit, and I played that for like three or four months, and then I got bored and stopped using it. Um... Chops! Oh boy, oh boy! So excited! What? What? They look so damn tasty, and they are! Sprout, you're a miracle, you know that? Oh, this is just so good. Ha, huh, now I just feel a little bit guilty. You're, I'm so I'm sorry you're running all these culinary errands for me. Look, there was this kid at work, Craig. We used to have these long, tight union negotiations. All-nighters. Everyone would be at a standstill. Everyone was so hungry, and every restaurant was closed. I would send Craig these on these endless 24-hour grocery store crawls. I would all uh, I would ask for these impossible gets saffron, uh, Suzmac, or even anise. Anise. Uh, and it was something like two o'clock in the morning. Our goal was to make the tastiest chops in the world. A meal for everyone, on both sides of the table, to calm heads and to appease stomachs. The first part didn't always work, but everyone was always well fed. I didn't know how he did it, but Craig would always find everything on my list. I would joke with him that he would have to break into people's houses to get this stuff. Jeez, maybe you did. I don't know how you did it, Sprout. You made it taste like home. Here's to you and Craig. Aww. Can't even imagine the strength it takes. It does take a lot of strength, but I think that's one thing that, that makes it really intimidating to new people. Uh, there's a lot that you can do at a beginner's level, which um, uh, people don't think about too much. Um, you definitely have to build up strength to like get to the higher levels of tricks and... Uh, and, and, you know, like, power type of moves where you're actually, like, upside down and keeping yourself up there. But it's it's truly a full body workout, and it's really fun. And that's what I was getting at with talking about, like, Ring Fit. It's like, I liked Ring Fit, but it, it got boring. And with pole, there's always new things to work on. There's always new moves that you can attempt. Um, and it just it just doesn't get boring to me. Especially because, like, some days you can take a strength moves class, and then the next day you can take a dance-oriented class. Huh. I thought it was this- maybe it was the other path. I think it was the other path that we needed to take. Here it is. Excellent. Up we go. Mushrooms. Field upgrade! Alright, I'm glad we came back. But yeah, I, like, I don't know about you, but I am not someone who can go, um, oh yeah, and this is what we found yesterday that, like, made me grate my teeth a little bit. Um, I can't go on runs. Like, I think going on a run just sounds like hell, personally. I did it a little bit when I was in, like, true I-need-cardio type of, uh, type of, type of mood. Like, I needed to exercise more and do something that what didn't require going to a studio. Um, and it was miserable every time. It's hell you don't run. Yeah, yeah, I- so running is how I learned that I have exercise-induced asthma. So I, um... I don't run very often. 
Um, because, like, doing actual, like, workouts and stuff, that's fine. It's only, like, intense cardio that sets off my asthma. Quick, get out of here. I can't be seen talking to you. Oh, that's right, because the... Which side are you on? Which side are you on? Because they've got the boss coming today. But we can't mine anything. All right, I think that's all we can get here until we have, like, an extra jump. Your wife has that, too. It's rough. It's not fun. I still don't think we can get up here. We need like a wall jump or something. But yeah, I've started rock climbing lately, um, because good friend Book Club for Games, aka Mark, um, rock climbs a lot, and when he was visiting, we went to try it out, and I had fun, and I am signed up for the next month, so I was like, eh, I'll just do rock climbing for a month instead and see how I like it. And it's been really, it's been really fun. I've been enjoying it a little bit more than I thought I would. I don't think it's going to, like, replace pull for me or anything like that, but it'll be something I continue to do occasionally. It, it's a lot harder on the hands, I'll say. Meat stew. Let's try this. Sounds like nothing but hand cramps. Yeah, so the first time I went like by myself and and I was there for maybe an hour and a half or so, um, I tore like the my blister. Well, I didn't have a blister. I'm sure one would have developed, but I tore that skin off. Um, so it was. I I have to. Puffing up my baby hands. I used to have, like, really good callus and strong hands from, like, previous work with doing sewing a lot. Uh, oh, right, we can build a whole new building now. Actually, let's start moving the... Uh, it won't move now because it's nighttime anyways. Um... sheep corral. How are we going to have room for all these buildings? We're going to have to go upgrade our boat. We need more maple planks. Wife and kids are home. You'll be lurking. Have fun. Thanks for the lurk. Thanks for chatting. Catch your round. Yeah, nice chatting with you. Do you stream also? I'm, I'm, I wasn't sure. Nope, you don't? Okay. I was to say, I'll drop you a follow, but maybe, I guess not. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, have a great night. Catch you around. Let's go down to this one, and then we'll do the plot one. And then we needed, I think it was maple planks, right? For the improve. Yeah. Go make a couple maple planks. You're hungry already! You know what I would go for? A bucket of fried chicken, that would bring me back. Because the best kind of food comes in buckets. Cooking sounds hard sometimes. In this case, it's pretty easy. 
it, sir, you're asking for a lot often. It's good enough. Okay, all right. I'm not going anywhere. I'm waiting for that weird cent centipede thing to pop back up. Where are you at? Where's this weird centipede thing? All right, it didn't show up. some more rice. Me out. Got him, got him. Stew. All right, more meat stew. You know what? I'm gonna not cook. We've got a lot of food like in our arsenal. Um, you are you're unhappy. What are you unhappy about? You like basic food. Some tea. I mined this ore when I was on the island with you earlier. I thought of smelting it for you, Munchkin, but I can give it to you if you want. What do you think? Yeah, I'll take it. Thank you. Let's do the hug. Aww. Aww. Mm -hmm. Hug brightens my day. <laughs> needs, needs his own house. All right. I think I saw that food was ready to be picked also. Although we should keep our ship moving. I'll say the progress in this game has been feeling very natural. Like, I never feel pressured to really make or do anything. Um, and if I don't get to it immediately, I know that I will get around to it. All right, so we just need some linen fabric. So let's let's see how much we can make. I don't think we can make enough. Because we need 30, right? I don't know how many we have, but. Maybe we can, maybe we'll have enough. So make like 20, because it depends how many we have. Karish Karishima's lighthouse discovered. Twenty-four. Alright, so we we'll have enough. Just barely. If I got any of them per there it goes. We got it, we got it. Allie! Hello! Spirit Fairer is beautiful. 
I love- I'm like- I'm just loving this game so much. It's just so nice. Although, like, I don't know how to fit all the buildings anymore. They're just- they keep being like, make more buildings, and I'm like, the boat only gets so big! What do you want me to do? Deconstruct buildings between use? What? Are you joking? Are- are- is the game serious right now? They want me to fit this? Onto the boat. Allie, how are you today? I don't, I don't even know, man. I, I don't even. It's hard to even... You know, I don't know. Like, for the next boat upgrade, I feel like I just can't afford it. And it's been really far away, so I haven't bothered to, like, go that far yet, you know? I guess let's do this island, and then we'll... And then we'll go back to our pun shark man and upgrade the boat. It's pouring here, needed some rain. I like rainy days, if only because I feel less guilty about not going outside. Although, let me, let me tell you, I have been feeling, like, so crappy the last couple of days. Like, I've, like, barely been doing much of anything. Like, it's not in any way that really impacts me streaming. Uh, but... Yeah, I've been feeling, like, super off, a little sick. Like, my appetite's been all weird. Same. Yeah, maybe something's, like, going around. I don't know. Maybe it's the moon. I say that jokingly, but also I know that, like, cycles and stuff can be weird. Uh, alright. We were getting on the boat. It's a new moon. Of course it is. Of course it is. See, I don't check these things. <laughs> But, Allie, let me tell you, Allie, I went to the grocery store today, and I just- I got cinnamon rolls. I treated myself to cinnamon rolls and pasta salad. I was like, we're going all in. We're having cinnamon rolls for dessert tonight. <laughs> Cherries? They're so expensive, but I want it. Opal? See, this is why I can't upgrade my boat. Because I'm buying that. Because I have to give it to the lady. Give it to the person on our boat. I, I don't know if they're a lady or not, but the snake one needs another fancy gem. I like getting sun here. It's so peaceful. Sometimes it isn't, especially when people love to jump on this umbrella. They jump up and down, up and down. They love to bounce on the thing. Drives me out of my skin. Nothing else I can do but complain, I suppose. All right, so I tried to do the the uh, umbrella jumping, but I feel like I'm doing it wrong. Like, why can't I get any height? What are you doing? You're ruining this very pleasant day. Stop that biting right this instant. You can't just come in here and bounce like some kind of overexcited youth. You're stressing me out. You need to calm down. Here's some free advice. You'll never be able to get up there. I've seen people with better legs than you try. Fine. If you really want to, you'll need two things. First, um, first up, a good altitude. Uh, that just applies to life in general. Everything is in the altitude. Then, you need to visualize bouncing higher. Or, I don't know, learn a new skill. I'm sure you'll figure something out. 
You'll learn how to bounce someday. I just know that you can't get get up there without a combination of things. A cool and calm attitude and more leg power. Now stop it. I'm just a simple person who doesn't like it when people jump on my umbrella. So the game just like told me that I can't do it yet. All right, well that's fine. Uh, now that I've spent all my money, let's go and try to upgrade our ship. We're not gonna be able to. <laughs> Game's good at that. Yeah, I've noticed that. This game is really good at letting me know when I can't do something. I appreciate that. Where's the snake? Hi. I have a gem for you. Poached fruit. Don't want that. What? Did I already give you an opal? Did I just waste all my money? Amethyst? An amethyst. What a treat. Amethysts are healing stones, you know. Alignment, emotional issues, nightmares, and other afflictions can be cured with the power of amethyst. They're great to balance chakras as well. Specifically the crown chakra. Alright, do you have all of your gems now? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> yes. And with that last gem, my basic medicine cabinet is complete. And since my meditation room is already finished with a nice little altar, you could come by and admire it at any time. In any case, I am truly grateful for all of your help. You were always, after all, a radiating presence, a beacon of light. Still, I hadn't planned on it, but I think I have something important to teach you. But our next class will have to do... We'll have to... I think someone fired up a grill or something? I just... It's probably not the house. It's fine. Um, I've heard of a nice spot in Mount Toroyama on a cliff overlooking the horizon. I think it would make for a nice classroom. I'm ready when you are. Just set sail. Alright, we're not going there yet. We've got other stuff to do. Alright, let's see. Is there a lightning storm that we can go check out? Trying to think of like where mo makes the most sense. I guess we should we should sell some stuff to him first because we've got a lot of stuff to sell. That'll help. Yeah, barbecue sounds really good right now. I'm finally getting my appetite back, which is good. My appetite is only for macaroni salad and cinnamon rolls, but you know what? You gotta start somewhere. Allie, what is your go-to comfort food? What, what's like your favorite comfort food? Yeah, I know it changes based on like the day or like whatever mood you're in or if you're sick or whatever. You can give more than one answer. I, I will accept more than one answer. That is also the question of the day for anybody lurking. I'm immensely chipper to see a dynamic young lady uh, being so hard at work. Not that Charon wasn't a true professional, but his manners were, well, a bit cold, if you know what I mean. Kept everything he found. What a pity. But you're here now. Huzzah, if I dare say. Oh, don't fret. I think this is all the same. I feel bad selling this because it looks cool, but we're gonna. We need the money. 
how much can I get for this opal that I just bought? Oh, half. Oh, God. Hot dogs, corn dogs, tacos, mozzarella sticks, and Chinese. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Our comfort foods are a little different, though, and that's interesting. Because, like, for, for me, if it's not sweet, it's not, like, it's not really a comfort food. I'm like, I want cake. I want chocolate. I want, like... I guess, like, mac and cheese counts. Macaroni salad counts. But it's mostly dessert for me. Uh, we're not gonna buy anything. Unlike real life, I can say no in a video game. Dessert is its own category for you? Fair enough, fair enough. going next uh let's see let's take a look at this map all right we'll wait we'll wait but yeah dessert tonight is probably gonna be some cinnamon rolls we'll see we'll see Nope, we're not going to any of those. Let's start here, see what we get. Wake up! Everybody wake up! Everybody wake up! Wake the fuck up! Get up! Good morning. Yeah, Stella sleeps a lot. I don't, I don't understand why she can't just stay awake all the time. Aw. Aw, look, I play the music. Oh yeah, no, she totally can. Totally can. It's just less efficient to like do stuff at night. I'm not even sure like what to do next. I guess just like Is it this button? This button? No. I remember it was hold a button, play music. Ork, hello! How's it porkin'? I'm doing alright. I've been feeling kind of under the weather the last few days, to be honest, but, uh, been hanging in there, you know. I learned, uh, today I learned how many calories are in pasta salad. And I was deeply disappointed uh, by that. We decided it's the new moon. Yeah, yeah. I love that they will, like, help out with the growth and stuff. The mayo. It, yeah, definitely. It's like a million pounds of mayo, but for some reason I was- I didn't expect it to be as bad as it was. Um... Cause it's like... At least the one that I got is 500 calories per... two-thirds cup. I was like, god damn. Alright, this is a very occasional snack. And in case you're wondering what we're doing right now, we're trying to get money so that we can upgrade our boat. Trying to find odd trinkets to sell. But 
But Orc, what's your go-to like comfort food? What's your What's your I'm having a bad day and this would make it better kind of food? Sushi and ramen? Good answers. Good answers. I was I was telling Ali, I comfort food for me, it like if it doesn't have chocolate in it, then uh, it doesn't it doesn't scratch that itch for me. Okay, so the last time I was in this area, there was like a millipede thing that jumped up on the boat. And I didn't get to talk to it. Hey, something to sell. Very nice. I suppose we should... Open that. Forgot you made coffee! That's very important. Gotta get there. Maybe we'll hit the lightning storm and the jellyfish if we take this route. We'll try it. We'll try it. Oh, also, well, actually, I'll work. I'll wait till you get back, but um, my PS4 controllers keep having like drifting issues and so i was looking into getting a new one but um okay i was like no that's silly i've got a million controllers or here you can even borrow my ps5 one so i've been using his ps5 controller for for a day or two and i like i can't decide which i like better between the ps4 or the ps5 yeah the dreaded drift yeah why do controllers always end with drift issues? Why is that always what I guess like that is the thing on it that has the most use, so therefore it would break first. <laughs> Ali, you're saying it is superior and to have him confirm. It's weird. I think that the the PS5 controller and the 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 Pro controller are like the same shape. Like the the Pro controller, the PS5 is has more of a handle similar to the, the Pro. Quick! A lightning storm. Don't be scared. Want to catch as many bolts as you can? Kim has a redemption where she rubs the controller on her face. I know, because it's got, like, the, uh, the, the PlayStation, like, indent, whatever it is, the engravings on it. That's the spirit. Just stand below each hit. up a chat momentarily, I promise. Oh, the poor cat! Got it. God, I feel so bad for the cat. Oh, I keep missing him. That's fine. I got I got some gleams. I got some gleams. 
share a link to my Discord about controller drift. It has to do with electrical currents. Oh, interesting. Should see with two players, we were all over the boat. Oh, I, f I keep forgetting that this has two player variant. That's really cool. But yeah, like my, my PS, so the PS4 controllers are admittedly like more than five years old. So I was like, eh, it's okay if I have to upgrade one. Uh, but at this point, like, I was just curious what people prefer more. Because the PS5, at least for, for people who have tried it, it's so much bigger in your hands, I think, compared to the PS4. Which I have right here somewhere. I threw it in one of these drawers. Here they are. Like, holding them up side by side, they're, oh, there we go. I, maybe it looks the same because of the white on on black shirt, but the PS5 controller is a lot bigger. It's heavier, too. It's definitely heavier. I haven't even used the PS5 yet. Man, gotta get on that. There's, like, no games for it yet, though. Very Xbox. Uh, Xbox controllers are big. Yeah, they are. Totally. Definitely. I've, I have also seen that. Um, I'll read that in one moment. I'm waiting for the prompt here. Give me prompt. Where where the heck is the deer? Uh Gwen isn't here. Maybe she went on an island somewhere where I don't know. Does she know any place in this world? Can I not do this area right now? It wouldn't happen to have a little maybe. Yeah, sure. That's a little, a little bad timing. I know you I know you want the cabin. Okay. This could happen for countless reasons. There could be something like dust or skin flakes along the, the track of the wiper. Yeah, yeah, I wish I could send my controllers in for a warranty. When I was healed, I didn't want to go back to old life. The ways of poison and hatred. Rose had remi um, reminded me of my youth, youthful love. And intentionally, she had unveiled my eyes. I sold everything I owned, took every dirty penny I ever earned, and I brought, I bought a plot of remote land and started anew. Listen to hidden songs of nature. When you listen, Stella, really listen. The plants tell you all sorts of things. What they like, what they need, who they love. Some called it biodynamic farming. I call it listening to the universal chant. I carved this little nest in the middle of the woods, and when I finally responded, when the flowers and the trees and the birds started flourishing, stronger than they ever could with the touch of poison. On the day of the solstice, when the hill was emerald green, well, that's when I asked her to marry me. Aw, that was really sweet. But how do I get- how do I do 
The, the, how do I do this? When you send your controller into Nintendo, example, they re uh, replace the track. Yeah, Nintendo was really good about it because um, they had a class action lawsuit for the Joy-Cons. And so if you contacted them, they would replace the, the part in the Joy-Con free of charge. Um, free even, yeah, even when it's out of warranty because of the lawsuit, yeah. Because they were made with, um, a defective part or something. When, when the Joy-Cons, like, first came out. Alright, I guess we can't do the thing here, which is kind of lame, but... That's alright. Um... We'll just go back to the shipyard. But yeah, I actually sent in two or three Joy-Cons back when that was all happening because I had a bunch that immediately developed drifting issues or like within six months developed drifting issues. Like these controllers are five years old, so they're just like, they're just old. Goodbye, jellies. You're free today. Your right one has a slight drift issue. You don't mind using it much. You use your PS4 controller with a converter. It's fair. I love the Pro Controllers. I can't talk up the Pro Controllers enough. I think this is like the true Switch controller, personally. I, for a while, I was just using the Joy-Cons and the little handle and like, it, it, it works. But it's not good. But yeah, the PS4 controller with a converter also sounds great. Buy a pro controller for wasn't sixty dollars. I mean, so like that's the thing, right? I was looking at the PS5 controllers, and they're like sixty-five or seventy even. If you want to get like a different color, it's seventy-five. I was like, are you serious? Even the uh, the PS4 controllers are really expensive right now. They're like fifty. It's like. Yeah, it's- it's crazy. Like, I understand them being expensive if they last a really long time, but it's just kind of universally known that they don't. How about a little snack? Feeling quite hungry. You are vegetarian. Grain salad, favorite. Uh, I want to go stand next to the seagull. So you only have one PS4 and one PS5 controller. It's the ones that came with the systems. Yeah, I got a, um, a second PS4 controller when I got the PS4 because I expected to be playing multiplayer games locally. Um, but turns out that's kind of a thing of the past. You can't really do that anymore. That's what the switch is for. But yeah, I've got the one... Uh, the one Switch Pro controller. I've got one more on my wall over there, but it's actually K-Wise. It's not mine. Uh, and then this is also K-Wise. I just borrow all of this stuff. No fish in the shipyard. I really hope we have enough stuff to upgrade our boat. You can do incredible things with a sawmill these days. You can even go on the internet. You can log in. Oh god. Oh god. Why? Oh. Oh. Uh. Albert, please. <laughs> this might be Mark. I 
can do it. I can afford it. Oh, 16,000. All right. Now we have a goal. We don't have wool yet. Spirit flower. We don't have that yet. All right, so I guess we do need the sheep, though. Yeah, good stuff. Where are we going now? I saw a quest line that upset me by the name of it, so I'm not gonna... I'm just, you know, just gonna ignore it. If we pretend it's not there, it doesn't matter. I like to, to annoy all my passengers. Can't ignore the quests. I can do whatever I want. This is my stream. Can tell me I have to do quests all you like. You are a mod, you have that privilege. to schedule the makeup stream. I was planning to do it today, but I just wasn't really feeling up for it. Um, but I am going to do it at some point. Probably, I'm probably going to do it next weekend and like schedule it out and like give a time in advance and everything because like whenever it's a community goal, I want people to have noticed that it's happening, you know? Um, so penciled in for next weekend. It would be an afternoon stream, so around 2 p.m starting for about two hours our makeup stream nah i'm doing a um i haven't figured out what i'm i'm gonna do for our stream but uh i reached a community goal to do some makeup art i have to like figure out how to set up my camera because like if I, if I bring my camera over here, right, like, this is as high res as it gets. So, like, I can lean in and stuff, but you're not going to be able to, like, really see everything I'm doing. So I'm going to try to get, like, either a better camera that I can loan or, um, I don't know. I'm going to figure something out. Move this over before I forget. Uh, collab stream this weekend. What's your collab stream? I don't like the way that turtle looks at me. Heck yeah. Lots of limestone. What should we put here? We don't have very much maple. You're a guest in Kimmy's cooking stream. Oh, that'll be really fun. Jake J Gaming with the raid. Oh, thank you so much. Welcome in, raiders. What were you playing? You were playing Spirit Fair. Hell yeah. How are you liking it? Welcome in, host, uh, ah, host mom beef, Horeth, welcome in. Yeah, Jake, how are you doing? How, how was your stream? Tell us about it, how to go. Host, thanks for that follow. Let me know if you have any preferred, like, nicknames for your, for your Twitch names. I'm really bad at the Twitch names, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm one of those people who's gonna be like, I'm really sorry for... If I mispronounce your name. <laughs> Thanks all for those follows. Corinth, 
and Jake, thank you. We just started the game today. It's your first playthrough. Awesome. Well, all right. I won't. I won't talk about spoilers for him. I've played a little bit longer. Um, well, I don't know how long your stream was. I'm about five hours in. It's it's such a beautiful game. It really is. Yeah, I I didn't think I was gonna like this. I thought the base building would get too tedious for me, but it's really not. Um, I've just been itching to play it ever since I started started playing. Let's make our way over over here. Such a pretty game, loving every moment. Went for about two hours. Hell yeah. Death's Taylor, hello. Post, you're loving the game too. Glad to hear it. It seems like a really popular game. Like it, it seems like a game that like not a ton of people who have played it, but everyone who has played it adores it, and I love that. Uh, also, I should introduce myself. I'm Ray. Ray Elise is full name, but Ray is, Ray is fine or Rachel, whatever. I am an artist. I um, uh, am. I stream occasionally, uh, once or twice a week. It has been recently, but I always play artsy indie games. Some of my favorites are Life is Strange, Journey. Um, I also love some AAA titles like uh, The Last of Us is one of my favorites, Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, I just, I like trying out new games and kind of catching up on everything I feel like I'm missing. Aw, oh, thank you, Allie. That's my TLDR. Anyways. Alright, we still need more maple logs. We can do the sheep corral, though. Oh my god, wait, we have so much more space now. Holy crap. We're gonna have to rearrange everything now. This is gonna be a nightmare. A lot of this stuff I've never even heard of. Oh, that's right. We have this monstrosity. And I'm gonna... We're gonna have to rearrange everything. This is gonna be like a whole fucking thing. But let's see what's... Let's see what's going wrong with our current location. Did we like hit, hit a... A boundary that I wasn't aware of. Looked at the boat at first and thought I ain't gonna fit much on there. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, we, we need some sort of upgrade for our ship, I suppose. The biggest boat is absolutely massive. Ali, I look forward to getting there. Ah, I see. There is a line here. Thou shall not cross. Uh... I wonder if that means I can't go over here yet, either. Hold up, didn't we go here? Maybe not. I thought we did. Maybe we went to this one instead. Not this one. Uh, I mean, I guess... We're gonna rearrange our boat with this time. That's what we're gonna do. All right. Are you guys ready for some Tetris? Because we're gonna do some Tetris, okay? Good God, there's so much space now. All right. We're gonna take all these. The houses are all gonna be at the top levels. We're just getting everything out of the way first. You were really nervous about playing this at first, but enjoying it. Um, you just know it's going to get emotional when the spirits start to leave. Yeah, yeah. I, I haven't gotten there yet, but I know that that is, um, that is coming. I am not looking forward to it. Even I just got, like, a prompt that was, that was what I think is to come. And I'm not, not pleased. This is also just a house, right? Yeah, let's get that out of the way. 
I was never crazy about that being there. This seems like it would be perfect on top. There. Oh, well, nope. This is the exciting part of the stream. Oh, god damn. We got it. You cried more than once. Oh, no. Ali, I believe it. I believe you were. Nearly started crying when Charon left. Yeah, that was emotional too, for sure. Will this fit over here? I don't think so. It won't. Okay. But oh, that's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. We could do like. Like that. Nope. That. And then this. It's not like perfect, but it's close. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that one's gonna be too big. I could do like that. We've lost like all our height. Which I don't know if that's a good thing. Huh, that is an interesting kind of puzzle, isn't it? Because you want everything... Everything to be, like, accessible and nearby, but you also... Let's just get that out of the way. You want everything to be nearby and accessible, but... You want to be high up to be able to do certain things. I'm I'm rolling with it. That's that's okay for me. It's not like perfect, but it's interesting to look at at least. The way he says bye-bye. Yeah. My Tetris strat is interesting. <laughs> It's like, it's like we're just waiting for the long, uh, vertical, the, the long straight shape, you know? That'll just, like, fit really snugly into this spot. But the reason why I did this is so that we have this kind of, like, ladder going up to the top here. So we can go really high. Because it doesn't really matter where the houses are because you don't really go to them. As long as all of the individual pieces are... A storm. Try and catch some lightning. Yeah, sure. But uh, Jake, I'll say one of our one of our themes of the stream today is comfort food. Do you have any favorite comfort food that's like your go-to? I'm curious what uh, people's favorites are. This maybe didn't work as well as I thought. It's a little hard to get around. But it's also, it's just so, there's so much stuff. I think that's the real issue. There's just too much stuff. Yeah. 
take take any day. I feel that. I feel that. Yeah, earlier I was saying that for me it's really just like dessert, but especially like chocolatey desserts, uh, but also cinnamon rolls are up there. Tacos? Hell yeah, tacos. Oh, that's right. It's it's sleep time. Yeah, today I've been like very much craving the comfort food, so I picked up cinnamon rolls. I almost got cookie dough, the kind that you can just like break off and put it in the oven. I found one that was dairy free. Magically, I found one at the grocery store, but it was also like I I don't know. I I just know that my homemade cookies would be better. So it felt really silly to go and then buy it, buy it. I don't know. Maybe I should have got it just to try it, but I'm picky about my pastries, y'all. My baked goods. Stella, you've got to be kidding me. This house is just fantastic. You know, I love simple things. Simple things that make me feel good and warm inside. What can I say? I just don't like when it's too complicated or luxurious. I just don't. That's who I am. I've always been like that, as far as I can remember. When I was young, many of my friends were pretty rich and famous. You know, artists, philosophers, sports, athletes. I've always attracted the finest people, what can I say? But I didn't mean a thing back then, and it still doesn't up to this day. Mm -hmm. That's probably why I ended up marrying Giovanni. He was so simple, yet so elegant. So genuine, but also fun and unpretentious. Mm -hmm. He didn't have a dime to his name. Still doesn't, I guess. Tainted! Oh my goodness! Virus, hello! Tainted, welcome in! Thank you so much for the raid! Allie, thanks for getting that shout out! How was the rest of your stream? Did you catch- did you- did you add any new Pokémon to your party? I know everything changed a lot today. And condolences. Luth, hello? I know I shouldn't. I know he's worthless riffraff. Mm -hmm. Added a few, lost some really good ones. Oh no. Marcus, hello. We're having a funeral procession right now. Oh no. Matenko, thanks for that follow. Hey, Matenko, I see your message now. RIP Pokemon. Yeah. I just can't forget about him. Hey, Munchkin, do you think you could check the mail? Maybe Olga's written about him and as she said she would. Be grateful if you did. Yeah, we'll check the mail. We'll check the mail. Won't forget this. Hell yeah. How am I? I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. I am, like, I've been feeling kind of off the last few days. Like, kind of sick. Just, like, not really, like, feeling great. Um, my appetite has been pretty lackluster and so today I went to the grocery store and the only goal was to get something that looked edible. I was like I'm gonna just walk down the aisle if it looks like something I'll eat I'm just gonna buy it. So I got pasta salad which I learned is way less healthy for me than I thought but I, but I got that and I ate some it was really good. Um, got cinnamon rolls for dessert later. Um, you know sometimes you just have to treat yourself right? R.I.P. all my good Pokemon except for Arthur. <laughs> I love the names of all your Pokemon. Just, just FYI. Um, I, I just appreciate how, uh, uh, like, basic? I don't want to say basic, but just, like, simple, you know? They're, they're like people names. I like people names for pets and Pokemon, because I, I just think it has a very comedic aspect. Um, gonna head off as it's, uh, around 11.40 for you in the UK. Jake, thank you so much for that raid, and thanks for stopping in and chatting and saying hi. Uh, I appreciate it a lot. I'll definitely give you a follow and, and visit, visit back at some, some time in, in the future when you're streaming next. Have a good night. Some days you deserve treats, hell yeah. Basic, what well, basic was the wrong word. I didn't mean, like, basic. I meant, like, common, like, human names. Like, people, people names. Listen, if you want a basic name, that would be Ray, a.k.a. short for Rachel, a.k.a. Rachel number five, as I was referred to in elementary school. 
I keep talking over here. I should move my mic. <laughs> my mic is like dead in front of me, but I keep turning this way because that's where Chad is. Yeah, see you around. See you around. Ray Ray. <laughs> But that is, that is a true story. When I was in school, there were so many Rachels that we, we started just being numbered. It was a very common name for my age group. Retsuno Meadows discovered. You're the first Rachel that you know? Wait, really? That's wild. I guess it depends maybe a little bit on location and stuff. I don't know. It's it's a bit it's been a common name in my experience, but I didn't actually look around in here. This is such a big house. Was that a bot, Luffy? I almost like immediately went to a different area. What was I thinking? I can't keep up with the bots. Let me tell you guys, like, I don't know how y'all do it. Like, if, if I get followed during my five minute, like, starting soon, I'll usually Google the name and see, like, oh, it's a bot, and then, and, and ban them. But I get, I, I've been told that I have a lot of bots, but I don't even know how to, how you like, check for it. I don't know, it's crazy to me, it's crazy. Feed? Horn? You're my new best friend, sheep. Follow me. You're awesome. Never even check. I like I know that they're bad, so I try to like I, I did go to a list of like the most common bots and I went through and like banned a bunch of like the really common ones. But beyond that, I haven't done much. Don't usually check there's a few you know of right off the bat just due to recent events, but otherwise, unless it's an obvious bot name you don't realize. Yeah, so, yeah, that's that's where I'm at. Oh wow, I've heard of this rock from a friend. He said that if you stand next to it for like a week, you can become a seagull or something. Hmm. I don't get it. I've been here for days. Everyone says that they feel something. I don't feel anything. What gives? I shouldn't have quit my job. <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> I love the dialogue in this game. It's so silly. At this point, if you follow without even saying hi, I immediately assume you're a bot. Fair enough. Oh. Fair enough. I mean, that's not always true, though, because when I was new to Twitch, I would I would only lurk. I, I didn't engage in chat at all. I would just have streams on. Um, and so sometimes I would follow and it was actually like a huge pet peeve of mine. And it kind of like pushed me away from the platform a little bit when streamers would like acknowledge my name and say hi and stuff when I followed. But I wasn't in chat. Um, which, like, I know as a streamer, like, you want to do that. You want to, like, engage with people that are following and watching and stuff. But, like, as a viewer, I was just, like, really self-conscious. I was like, no, don't notice me. I'm I'm just hiding to pretend I'm not here. You'll always say thank you, but if they don't talk, you assume uh, a lurker. Yeah, if I, if I get a follow and it's someone not in chat, I'll say thank you, but I usually won't say their name. That's that's kind of like the middle ground that I've rested on. If they if they don't speak up in chat, if they speak up in chat, then then I'll I'll say their name. Don't notice me, senpai. Yeah. When the others aren't looking, uh, I like to lick the rock. It helps me concentrate. Also, it's a little bit salty. Oh. No, I'm never going home. I, no, I'm trying to get the. Uh, 
the berries behind everything. Got him. Nope, nope. We're not, not, not the sheep. This guy. He's hungry. Give him some pork chops. Pork chops! These are pork chops! Stella! This is amazing! Amazingly good! I can't believe it! It's my favorite dish! Thank you! These look incredible. I was just dreaming about these. Alright, well I'm glad he's happy. Hurry up, sheep! Yeah, pork chops! I picked up pork chops at the grocery store today, actually. I got this new um, uh, local brand of... What was it? Um, I got a blackberry preserve and I got a... Might have been a strawberry preserve? Or raspberry, maybe? But, oh my goodness, so yummy. So, so good. Well, we can't go that way. Blackberries are so good. Blackberry, Matanko, blackberries are underrated. Um, especially, like, blackberry jam and stuff. Oh my gosh. So, when I make chicken, thigh, like, with the skin on, or pork. If you eat pork, is it cannibalism? <laughs> um, when I make either of those two meats... What I'll do is I'll sear it, and then I'll put it in the oven in a cast iron. Um, once the meat is done, I take it out, let it rest, put it on a plate. And then with the uh, pan scrapings, I know that there's a word for that, but I'm not sure what it is. Um, I will add in a little bit of vinegar. De and what vinegar I use will depend on the dish, depend on the protein a little bit. So I can either do... Uh, a white vinegar, or sometimes I'll do a balsamic vinegar. And then I'll add in fig preserve, blackberry preserve, or strawberry preserve is really good. Any of those. Mix together, add in some fresh spices, um, and just to make like a, a, a glaze that I then cover the, the, the meat with. Divine. So good. Oh, man. I'm just, I'm so excited to cook that later this week. It's gonna be so good. Can I not do anything with that sheep? Can I take the sheep with me? <gasps> you guys, what are we naming the sheep? We have to name the sheep. What are we naming him? This is very important. Is the sheep in the corral? Oh my god, the sheep's in the corral, you guys! Orly? That sounds like... The, the name, name it content. <laughs> Orly sounds like one of those words that's like you try to trick the streamer into saying it because it's almost like a... Uh, like like these, what are you gonna do with these? You know. That's what we were going to name your Vulpix. Oh, that's right, Orly. I remember now. So fluffy. All right, where are we going? Like when Virus tried to tell you, um. Yeah, for putting these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I was thinking of. Which, like, I shouldn't tell you guys, but I'm, like, gullible as shit. And if you try to get me to say something like that, I probably will, and then I'll be embarrassed. <laughs> I, like, I'm- now that I know that y'all tried to trick Loof with that stuff, I'm, like, questioning everything in chat. I'm like... Just like a little bit sus of everything. Which, I don't care if it's a contro controversial opinion, I hope that sus stays. I- I enjoy... I enjoy sus. 
as a word. What's that in the top left corner of the screen? That is our progression counter. So it's like how long it takes us to travel. Am I using the new overlay for Spirit Fair? Um, I might be. I'm not sure. I got the most recent update, update version of Spirit Fair. So if there was like an update, it should be this version. God damn it. See? God damn it. You <laughs> you guys oh my god loop that was hilarious that timing was like pristine <laughs> uh, oh so good someone said sus yeah 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 But see, you see, you guys, I'm I'm gullible as fuck. It's real bad. Where am I supposed to go now? We can't go over here. I have a feeling we're supposed to go here. I guess I should check my quests. I guess. I guess I should check my quests. <laughs> How long is 600 seconds anyways? Is that five minutes? You can, you can untime them out. Yeah. He learned his lesson, probably not. How do I check my quests? Not here. Ten minutes. Sixty seconds in a minute. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, it's ten minutes. Bridge, hello. How are you doing today? Find Gwen's whereabout. Add icebreaker update. I have so many quests. You can't stop, Nick. You can try, though. I wouldn't want to. I feel like that's the first time some- Actually, that's not true. We've definitely timed out for puns before in this chat. Puns are, like, the one thing that I'm like, it depends on the mod, but you might get- You might get timed out if it's a, uh... If it's a bad enough pun. Welcome back, Virus. That was very funny, I will admit. The bridges don't build themselves. <laughs> if I can't get him in his stream, I'll have to get him in other people's streams. <laughs> the timeout was just so funny. Oh my god. Building Bridgets. <laughs> Just saw that. Oh my god. You guys, I can't wait for cinnamon rolls. I, as soon as I'm, I'm done streaming today, it's gonna be all cinnamon rolls. Did I not stop, start moving? Oh. Yeah, I know you want chicken. I know, I know. I thought that I had selected a new place. I still have to find... 
Oh, maybe I didn't set it because I was sad. Let's... Let's just go here, and we'll see if Gwen's there. I'm not looking forward to it. Hello, sheep. Uh, I guess we can do some fishing or something. My god. How are you all doing today? How is your Monday going? Today I feel like I did like a bunch of chores and, and now I'm just like coasting the rest of the day. Like, just been feeling kind of sick the last couple days, so just trying to take it easy. Like, I wanted to go and work out, but I just knew that I was going to feel sick. God damn it. It's been a quiet day, can't complain. Fair enough. Are we gonna get this millipede thing to come on to the boat again? Did I sort out my Wi-Fi situation? Yeah, so the Wi-Fi situation came to an interesting conclusion. Let me tell you guys. Um, so... Yeah, we're, we're looking. All right. All right. While while the boat is moving. My internet has been really, really bad the last couple of weeks. Um, why I can't complain? Let's hear it. Uh, the I was getting I was running speed tests and stuff, and I was getting between one and three megabytes per second down and about seven up. Um, if I streamed, it was usually okay, but occasionally it would just cut out and then restart, um, which is inconvenient when you're streaming. Um, but the having nights where it was one down, and I'm on Ethernet. Like, I, I have an Ethernet connected to a port that's Bluetooth to the router. Um, so it should be, like, pretty good. Uh, turns out that when I negotiated my rates, because I've had the same plan for a couple of years, so they keep hiking up the price, you know, um, I was able to negotiate it back down. Um, however, they didn't tell me that when they lowered the price, they lowered the speed. Instead of 250 down, I was paying for 100 down. And I've got, like, four roommates. Each of my roommates has at least three devices, right? Between consoles and PCs and phones, like. So I have to start paying more and upgrade the speed, and now it's running a lot better. But for like three weeks there, I was getting like four down. <laughs> Am I able to get Verizon Fios? No. I have the choice between RCN and Comcast, which is kind of good for my area. RCN is a lot better than Comcast, but my God, I was, I was pissed. I couldn't believe that they downgraded my speed without telling me. I was so angry. Uh, oh, I can't go to the boat. Do I just walk off? I'm confused. Where do I go? Verizon, uh, Verizon Fiber is actually a really good speed. Yeah. Oh, weird. Okay, so it's actually not letting me go to this area, so I guess Gwen's not here. I guess that's good. Cable internet gets too congested. I know. It's... Ugh, God. Internet, I think, is a scam. So I just have to upgrade my boat then, I guess. We'll go here for now. Let's try to upgrade the boat. I'm trying to remember where we do that. Is that back at the shipyard? Is that where we upgrade to, like, a, a breaker's hull? Yeah, even the lowest plan for Aizen is fast. 
they advertise 200, but it's really 300? Wow, okay. Yeah, I've never gotten anything close to what I pay for with my internet. Never. No matter where I've lived. It's just, that's never been the case. Yeah, we, we know Gwen isn't here. We know, we know. Um... Virus, that, that, oh god, that frustrates me so much because I pay the same amount for garbage. Like, just actual garbage internet. Um, I actually don't want to do this. I'd rather just keep going. Oh my god, we're getting all the rates today. Dave, hello! Dave, welcome in! Hallie, are you in chat? Heck yeah, thank you, Allie. Dave, how is your stream? You're playing Miitopia! Dave, I will be honest, the only interest I have in Miitopia is watching you play it. Because it's, it's very entertaining when you are playing it. But I don't think it's something I would personally enjoy. <laughs> How goes it? I'm doing okay. I've been feeling a little off today, but that's why we're playing some Spirit Fair, trying to just get back into a normal swing of things. Um, okay. Someone in chat who has played this game can remind me, um, where do I go to upgrade, like, my ship in terms of, like, hull integrity to get past, like, ice and rocks and things? It is Albert's? Okay. Thank you, Allie. It's a fever dream, but Miitopia is fun. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I am for sure. You were playing Spirit Fair the other day, but I wasn't able to tune in. How far have you gotten in the game? Gotta get some Rhino Liner for the ship. Yeah, pretty much. We cook. What's that gonna make? I, I want one of these to make sushi quite bad. Almost there, almost there. We might even have the icebreaker one, so maybe, maybe I just need to go to one of the ice locations and I'm just behind on that. Yes. You don't need to ask everybody where Gwen is. Uh, a bit ahead of me, just had a tour of the nice little garden palace. Uh, garden place. How am I finding it, though? Cat! Cat, please! Cat! 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 Daffodil! Daffy! Buddy! Hey! Hey! Bugged out. Poor cat. Stuck there. Gonna drown. Bye! Try again? Yeah, there you go. Good job, kitty. Uh, I, I will say, Dave, I am very much enjoying this game. Um, I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I am, but I am very much enjoying it. Also, I don't know if anyone in chat has played Slime Rancher, but I've been, I just finished that off stream, and that was another game that I didn't think I was going to like, and I kind of loved it. Um... I enjoyed Slime Rancher a lot. I don't know if anybody's played that, but... I give it a good recommendation. I'm excited for the new one, whenever that comes out. Uh, 
Let's see. We don't have very much slate. We'll do another log. Let me up. All set. Bye. All right. I don't even remember what I put in here. Eel? At least this is nearby. Go to sleep. Sleep through some of this journey. Oh, can't do it yet. It's too early. We'll water some plants. But Dave, how is... How is uh, post-college life treating you? Are you just like... I, I know that when I graduated college, I hit like a new level of veg state. Um, where like, I was working a little bit, but I was mostly just vegging the fuck out. Still getting over it? Still super weird? Yeah, yeah, that weirdness doesn't go away very quickly. To rearrange my boat. I don't know how I'm feeling about this current setup. I don't hate it, but I don't love it. Oh, nope, we're going to sleep. It's too late to fish. We want to keep this show moving. Also, your part-time job, so you have that. Yeah, yeah, that's what I, I did after college, too, is I worked a part-time job for a while. Um, you're feeling it, yeah. I... I suspected as much. But Dave, what's your favorite go-to, like, I feel like trash comfort food? That is, that is the theme of the stream today. Also, for we have a lot of new people in chat today, so every every stream um, I have adopted from uh, Book Club for Games uh, the command exclamation point Q, which will have a question of the day. So um, it'll just be a new new topics, current events, or um, whatever whatever I felt like talking about that day. So FYI, some cookie dough. All right. Thank you, Dave. Thank you. Every, a lot, of, like all of you, have have valid opinions. I appreciate all of your opinions, but for me, it has to be dessert. <laughs> so far, everybody has said some kind of like comfort food that's like a more of a meal, and I'm like, no, give me a give me a bowl of of cookie dough or ice cream or chocolate. That's that's what does it for me. Cinnamon rolls. I'm having cinnamon rolls after stream today. I keep talking about it because I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> Tub of ice cream. Yeah, yeah. It's like if I'm leaning into leaning into feeling in the dumps, like let's just go go for it. But Chinese food, like, that definitely will, like, hit the spot sometimes, or or even, like, if I'm having a craving of something specific. A tub of hot. Hot tub. I don't... That led me down the brain path of thinking about, like, tub water and how people will, like, sell that. And I'm just like, Orc, please don't please don't start selling bathwater on on only swoles. <laughs> Ray, please. <laughs> so like, could you could I, I feel like 
when you say that, when you're like, Ray, please, it makes me think that like, I'm your mom and you're like, God, this is so embarrassing. Oh my God. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> it's not, it's not funny. There's so much content. Oh, now you planted the seed in his head. Yeah. Also, Nine, hello. You snuck in there right when I was on that little tangent. How are you doing? Just lurking? I appreciate that lurk. I hope that you're having a good one. That's one mighty foundry. When they built it, they were surely thinking outside the box. Yeah, I was the mature one, Allie. <laughs> the chosen one. Uh, playing uh, Scrabble with Jem. Tell Jem that we all say hello. Also, stream dead. Stream dead. Are we back? We back? You guys can see me? Hi. Sorry. I, you guys, I, what, why? Why does my internet do this? It just disconnected completely from my computer for no reason whatsoever. Um. Hold on. Like, it says it's back on, but I'm just, like, really worried. Because this has happened twice in a row now. This happened on the last stream, too. And I don't know why it's disconnecting like that. Um, I thought that the internet was fixed, you guys. I, I had a phone call with RCN. I told them to get it together. Get it together. Who knows? Well... Sorry if you all had to watch an ad. We're back. All right, let me, I gotta switch my monitor back. It happens, technology and all shit. Yeah, I know, I just like, I just, I just want it to be better. But, is what it is, whatever, whatever. At least it was funny timed with the pun, I guess. Let's see. Oh, this is the icebreaker. Okay, but we don't know what the spirit flower is yet. We don't have iron ingots, so we, we can't do this. <laughs> puns. Yeah, the puns were what did it, actually. I just, like, flipped the internet off for a second. I was just like, fuck this. That is a good emote. Is that, like, a tier 2 emote? Because I don't recognize that one. I <laughs> respect that. <laughs> Time out the stream. Wait. I figured it out. Dave timed out the stream because of the pun. He figured out how to do it. 
Dave, how could you? I trusted you. Gonna have to remove that mod sword. Bad. <laughs> that son of a gun. <laughs> it's brand new. Dog provides constant quality content. That is a fact. That is an absolute fact. Okay, so we, we can't upgrade to the icebreaker yet. What are you so upset about? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've got some food for you. It was an inside job! God damn. Um... Well, interesting. I'm not totally sure. Oh, wait, there was another island that we couldn't really explore because I didn't have the jumping upgrade yet. Uh, which one was it? Probably this one. Could be this one. Man, I'm missing a lot of stuff on these islands. I guess let's start with this one. We'll see what we can find. But I guess at least my internet came back very quickly this time. Because normally, like, if the router gets reset or something, it takes, like, five or ten minutes for the internet to come back. But still... I want, I want better internet. And I complain about it. Has anyone made this ship has leaks puns yet? Not yet. It's not too late if you want to risk getting banned by Dave. Getting timed out, I should say. You won't get banned. Let's see. Have any letters? Message in a bottle. What could it be? Help me, I'm lost at sea. Hopefully this bottle reaches your friend. Here's my location on the map. 58 minus 11. Oh, wasn't there like a, a an actual location that we needed to go? Hey, stream elements. Welcome to the chat. Thanks. Appreciate the shout out. Uh... Oh my god, there are coordinates here. It was like 58... It was 50... It was like 50 minus 11, right? And something like that? Hold, hold up. Hold up! This is important. First! <laughs> Fifty-eight minus eleven. Yeah, I got it right. That's shocking to me. All right. Well, since we're actually closer, let's do it. Will your roommates be chipping in for better internet? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, so I don't need to get into this specifics of how the internet or how utilities work here but the tldrs that i pay for everything up front and then we split everything evenly unless it's like something that only one person would be utilizing or whatever no i don't want to catch anything right now You know what? We can do a little mini game where we sing to the plants. It's not that one. Is it this button? It's not this button. Haha, I got it. It's so quiet.
But yeah, the internet was like getting so bad that I was starting to consider installing my own router on my own network in my room and then just like have the roommate sort out their own internet and I would just pay for mine. It was just like so bad. It's like cut having your internet cut off during a stream is annoying, but having it cut off during like a work call is beyond inconvenient. That's like, ugh. Plants are happy. Well, thanks guys for sticking around when my internet died. That's always like the worst, especially when there was like a raid like we had and then it's like the internet cuts out and it's like, oh, well, hopefully everybody finds their way back. But is what it is. That's just that's just internet life, streaming life. Does anyone have any fun plans for the evening? Or just chillin'? Gotta work tomorrow. I know. I'm not looking forward to it. I like really needed this long weekend. I think it's just because I was like feeling so off and kind of sick. Help! Help! My raft broke and I lost all my equipment. I was gonna see my sister on. Wait. I don't even remember where. She lives in a nice little town full of people. A nice patches, a shop, and a big monument. Oh, please, you need to help me. My sister would be able to draw you a map or something. Hurry, please. Do you want to just like get on the boat? You just, do you want to just you just you're just gonna stay here for real? Furugawa. Let's go. We'll sleep and then we'll go. We're gonna sleep and then we're gonna navigate. Oh man, my hands are like finally starting to feel back to normal after rock climbing the other day. I like, I beat myself up trying to do that bouldering. It is, it's rough, it's hard. It is not, it is harder than it looks, I'll say. I thought having like an amount of fitness background would be enough to do it. Not this one. Crazy, I'm not crazy. That's so far, all right. Wake up! Everybody wake the fuck up! Get up! Goodbye! You sure you don't want to just come? Yeah, I don't know. Rock climbing is interesting. I can see why people really like it. It's like it's challenging in like a puzzle solving kind of way, which is cool. Uh, I didn't really think that fitness could feel like problem solving. But that's that's very interesting because dance isn't like that dance is just you practice it until you get it right 
and it's like you you only improve when you push yourself like a little bit further but with rock climbing it's like you have to look at it like a math problem and how do you like where do you put each limb so that you can progress to the next thing it's it's I'm still doing way too basic of climbs to have it really be applicable to me, but once you start getting into the more challenging ones... Yeah. Right now it's just like, I need to hang on for dear life and not fall off. That's where I'm at. Remember, your Everlight will protect you. Uh, no. Oh, you're like super hungry. Why do you- why are you so hungry, man? I'm glad that the frog eats like anything. Most sports have some problem solving elements, if not all sports. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think, well, yeah, I mean, I guess it, it really depends on like what you're, what you're doing with it because like pole, pole fitness definitely is a sport, but it's not as, um, you, you can put problem solving and like how to string moves together, how you go from one transition into the next. You can definitely do those things, but I think that you it's not required. It's not required for everything that you do, but with rock climbing, anything you do requires at least some amount of problem solving and, and planning. Um, from my experience, anyways. But with dance, you can kind of just feel it out. Uh, until you get into the more advanced stuff. If that makes sense. Let's do some fishing, pass the time. I guess I could also smelt some ingots. We haven't done- actually, you know what, let's do that instead. That's more productive, because we haven't done that, like, at all. Uh, walked right past it. It's this door. I know we need iron, so let's just do a bunch of iron. Can we get through this conversation? No. Haha, perfect. <laughs> another five. I think this one might be the most tedious of the, like, minigame tasks because it has the least to do. Like, you just pump the bellows and then wait. But maybe it's also supposed to be like you do that and then you can like leave and then come back or whatever. But I don't know. I guess I also just like don't feel comfortable doing that. Also, has anyone seen the new Suicide Squad yet? Or the old one? I guess the old one and the new one. I ask because I watched a video um, 
like an analysis video comparing basically Harley Quinn between the two movies and why one was really successful, the new one, but the old one wasn't. And I'm not going to say spoilers, so don't worry about spoilers if you're in the chat. But, um, uh, I, I didn't know this about the first movie, but when they re- when they were getting ready to release the movie and Batman vs. Superman didn't do as well as they were expecting, they, ch they wanted to change the tone of the movie to be more lighthearted because originally it wasn't supposed to be. It was going to be more dark. Um, and so rather than... Um, rather than do any like reshooting or anything, they got the company that they had edit the first movie... Or not the movie, the trailer. Sorry, I'm getting, I'm distracted because I'm trying to play the game. But um, they got the company that edited the trailer for them to re-edit the entire film for the first one. And that's why it has so many songs in it that are only play for like 30 seconds because it was edited by a trailer company. Isn't that wild? And so they were comparing that to some stuff in, in the newer movie um, for why it was more successful with just the editing alone. I just thought that that was like really fascinating. The movie industry, I think, is, is very, very cool. Or interesting, at least, how everything, like, works. I was always one of those, like, huge nerds that would watch all the behind-the-scenes thing for every movie and every DVD that I had. Really enjoyed the new one. Yeah, I think the new one was excellent. Um... I thought it was really funny, and the over overall story I thought was great. I'm, like, excited to go back and rewatch it at some point. I might even do that tonight, because let me tell you, I've been watching so much trash TV the last couple of days, I'm, like, ashamed of the amount of trash TV that I've been watching. Like, I don't know why it gets me so, so much, but, like, there are a couple of shows that I'll keep going back to. And one of them uh, is this insane premise of Married at First Sight, which is an arranged marriage. It's exactly what it sounds like. But in the season that I'm watching, um, the, the, the couple got married. The next day they were going on their like pre-planned honeymoon and the wife got detained at the airport, arrested, and it was revealed that she had an outstanding warrant for three counts of stalking and one count of credit card fraud. And it, the warrant was submitted the day after the, the production company did their background checks. So they like totally missed it. Like, can you, can you imagine having an arranged marriage with someone and then they have a felony? Like... <laughs> <laughs> I was just, I, I like, I don't know if it was fabricated for the show. I have no idea, right? Like, it, it could totally be all fake. It's reality TV, you know, grain of salt with everything. But I was still just like, next episode, next episode, just shoveling food in my mouth. Next episode, you know, it was one of those nights. Shows her watching being uh wild been rewatching Teen Wolf. I never saw that one. Uh this is the one that was looking for his brother, right? Lost at sea, he always does this. He always has an excuse. Last year it was a new girlfriend. The year before it was bad economy. How can I be sure you're not some strange person he paid to invent a story? He might be relaxing in the sun somewhere. Here, give him this if you're telling the truth. Hopefully that snaps him out of it. 
Oh my god. A letter from your sister. What does it say? Simon, this young lady told me of your misfortunes. You must either be the most unlucky person in the world or you truly don't want to see your family. Enclosed is my address. Address. Don't get lost this time. Yikes. Was there anything else at this location that I can do, though? We need to save up money, so I don't want to go to the shop. I'm pretty sure the shop was on this island. Um... God damn, we had to like go all the way back over there. It's such a long errand. Well, I guess we'll hit up these crates and stuff on the way. We still have to find Gwen, and I don't know where Gwen is. If one of the upgrades is a faster boat because that would be pretty sweet bay shrimp Yeah, they mentioned Gwen. They just said that they don't know where they are. I can talk to them again, but it seemed like they were like... Uh, the quest just says to search nearby areas. So I could like go to other islands and things that we've been to before. Oh, you know what? Gwen might be at the homestead, like that home palace. If I'm using my big brain to think about where Gwen might actually be. Ooh. Yeah, we're we're looking around. Got a surprise. Ooh. Went outside the boat and gathered Ooh. some berries, but I went a little overboard. I have too much. Here you go. Have a berry day. Now, here's the question. What was the name of Gwen's house? I feel like it was up here. Oh! It's my memory. My memory serves me well. Let's check it out. Also keeping trying to keep an eye out. What's going on? Oh, we go past the island in the background. That's cool. All the passengers get close. Yeah, like everybody's friends. This this whole game is just wholesome as fuck. All 
right, sleep time. I have so much food, I'm like not even interested in watering it anymore. Man, I really need to figure out why my internet is dropping so much because like my internet strength right now is really good Like everything looks great. So I don't know why it just like clipped on and off like that Makes me nervous makes me nervous I guess I should wake everyone up Valuable necklace. Oh, I wonder if we'll be able to get up on top of the house now. Although, uh, I, I don't know. We still don't have any new, like, height upgrades. Or something. I like the seal. guided me in the right direction and then I did the math let's do it oh I'm the best at this game I'm amazing I'm the best I'm the greatest stretch uh... Stella, mm -hmm. I am sorry. Sorry I ever considered doing this. Ending your days in your family house is so cliche to boot. Mm -hmm. I can't explain myself either. I just wanted to finish it off, you know? Mm -hmm. To decide on my own terms how I go. And not let myself be taken away. I've been a week, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Oh, the irony. I feel so selfish now. Sometimes I wish I could have been like you, but rarely. Ah, <laughs> oh, crap. Hug me now. <gasps> Thank you so much. I needed that. You always pull through. Oh, no, we don't want to see it. You're starving. Let's feed you. Coffee is your favorite, mm. right? Mm. <sighs> yeah, Alias is super sad. I don't think I can get high enough yet. I know that there's something on top of the house and I want it. All right. Let's go. I don't know if I have to wait for them to get on the boat or not. I assume not.
<laughs> Look, this will come as a shock, but I'm ready to leave. I just can't fight it anymore. But it's okay. I know you're with me. Bring me to the ever door where you met Charon. I'm ready. I think. Oh wait, nope, that's not what I want to do. No, no, don't! Alright, it's fine. I did the wrong thing. I was I was too emotional. I'm not ready, chat. Allie, hold me. Oh, it's all like lit up and stuff. They're like, uh, oh, uh, it's gonna be so sad. Animals. Sometimes, sometimes they'll eat shellfish, which is why I was, which is why I was wondering if they would take it if it was in some other form. Okay, maybe not. Maybe that was just like a bug that they took at one time. Cause I, I remember I was like, oh shit. Uh, not right now. I'd rather just keep going. The first one's the roughest. You say knowing you cried on a majority of them. Fair rally. I am... Um, I think I'm gonna be okay. I played another game that had a similar kind of mechanic, I think. Maybe it was Pyre? I think Pyre had something like that, where you, you send off your people. I never finished Pyre. I should try using the fast travel sometime. I don't know if that is actually faster or not, but I can only assume that it is. even know what to say like I'm sad I'm sad working up to this god damn mackerel we still haven't caught any salmon not sure how we're gonna catch salmon Maybe I just have to get lucky, or maybe I have to go somewhere specific. Oh. No thanks, I want to keep moving. We're almost there. Then we can cry, together, as a group. Group cry. Oh, 
Oh, you know what's crazy? I've been hearing like several reports recently, like from friends who are vaccinated who have confirmed cases of COVID. Isn't that, it, that's so wild to me. Like I know that the vaccine isn't 100% effective and Delta variants and all these like, we got new variants coming up and it, it makes sense. But also it's like, just, it's so scary. Not to like bring everybody down with COVID, but it's been on my mind a little bit. Might be able to get one more fish. Maybe not. The water is red with blood. The blood of our sacrifices. That's the secret. We're going to sacrifice these guys. Okay, here we are, I guess. I guess I've been waiting for that moment to arrive, sooner or later. Will you accompany me, friend? Thank you. Don't forget. Uh, feed you? Oh. We are here. Oh. Stella, look. There's something I want to give you. I used to hide it in my old music box. I don't know why, but I always felt... Uh, but it always felt to me like it was the best hiding spot. Oh. Here it is, my old lighter. Haven't thought about this old thing in a while. Barely oh. works. Stole it off father when I was 12. Please use it to remember me. In the good times. In the bad times. They exist together. Intertwined. If there's one thing that you learned from me, it should be that. I like that everybody came to say bye a little bit. We're doing our job. This is just part of our job. Seems I couldn't escape it, doesn't it? Me being here now. You know me. I've never been one to dwell on the past, mainly because it always felt overwhelming to me, like an irrepressible wave of resentment. But even at this very moment, I still wonder. I don't know if I've ever tried to connect, and I've been so sure of it. My opinion just never changed. You know what I've always said? That people come and go... Uh, but don't pay attention to each other. They never really did. That lives- that lives are only ever parallel. Adjacent at best. Well, that's bullshit. I can see that now, and you're the proof of it. And not just you, but Mum cared as well. In her own way. And others here, even given the circumstances, I still don't know about Father. I should probably forgive him now. Find that last shred of strength in me. Would that make me a better person? Would that make a difference? Maybe. But after all this, I don't think I care. And it doesn't matter. Because I had my best friend by my side. I had you. You are a wonderful person, Stella. My life would not have been the same without you. The light you showed me was more than a beacon. It was a guide. Only I was too blind to see it. My shades were too opaque. Okay, let's go. I can't hold it any longer. Yeah, so sad. Hey. Thank you, Stella. Thank you for bringing me here, even if you didn't want to. Thank you for kicking my butt and shaking mm -hmm. my ego. Don't forget that I've loved you as much as I could. Goodbye, mm -hmm. friend. See you there. Mm -hmm. Aww. Mm -hmm.
What a nice little touch with the constellation. Um, this game is so well written. I will say that. Where are we now? Oh, this shows like our lives. Does it? This is really cute, y'all. So is the little one us? It's a little hard to tell. And then that one's Gwen, maybe? Am I not supposed to do that? There we go. You just have to do it in the right spot. We stayed friends. This is so cool. We finally meet face to face. For such a long time, I have been watching you, Stella. Close yet far, you've kept your distance. But you knew I was there, hidden in every shadow, sulking in every silence. Since the very beginning, I have been a part of you. Even as my existence was but a foreign thought, and as your loved ones surrounded you with care and affection, I waited silently. Your joy, your pride, your happiness. Moments of laughter, of bliss, of friendship, gone. I know it feels just like yesterday, but the hourglass has turned, and at last, you have found me. For now, I have not yet fallen, not yet fully awoken. Resume your duties, carry on your graceful dance. We'll meet again soon, Spirit Fair. So, so, it seems so sinister. All right, well, that was emotional. That was sad. It was really beautiful, though. I don't think I'll ever stop just admiring this game for its beauty. Also, that flower is... we've been looking for... Uh... <gasps> Spirit flower! Oh, shit! Is that everything we need to upgrade the boat? It might be. It 
It wow, it put me out pretty close to it, so that seems like what I'm supposed to do. Allie, have you recovered? I hope you're doing okay over there. Clap, clap. Yep, we made it. We did it. You're good, about to jump off. Think you're gonna uh, stream tonight? Hell yeah. I think I'm gonna grab this upgrade and then I was actually planning to stop as well. I was gonna do a shorter stream tonight and then like right around when I was thinking of wrapping up the internet cut out and so it's like, oh, well, I just got everything going again. So uh, no, I'll, just, I'll just keep going. I skipped the pun this time. I didn't even read it. We have it now. We got the upgrade, we did it. Yeah, eight o'clock. This seems like a good point to wrap up. It'll be a good jumping off point as well. Now that we have that icebreaker upgrade, we can go to some of those islands that we couldn't check out before. Loof, welcome back. Welcome back. We, uh, our internet Internet. Well, you were here. I had to go grab a snack. Yeah, I think I'm about to wrap up. I was gonna check out check out what's going on uh, in the in in the pantry. I was gonna see how the chocolate that I bought today is doing. You know, I want to make sure that it's not lonely. Um, but yeah, you were here for that pantry raider. Yeah, we're gonna raid my pantry. Just you wait, you guys. All right, I'm gonna grab the webcam. Here we go. <laughs> Everyone say hi. Um, but regardless, I getting getting back to it. Uh, I do want to thank Jake J Gaming, Painted, and Dave for those raids. We had a bunch of new follows today, so thank you as well. I hope that y'all liked what what you saw and stuck around, and we'll see you again. Um. Let's see who we got online, and we can uh, we can wrap up. We're we're at a great stop, uh, like starting point for the next stream, so I, I I like wrapping up here. Um, but I'm eager to play this game some more. Let's see.